இந்த எனர்ஜி அனாலிசிஸ் ஸ்டீம் டர்பைன் அவுட்புட் பம்ப் இன்புட் த நெட் அவுட்புட் ஃப்ரம் த ரேங்கின் சைக்கிள் அண்ட் ஹீட் சப்ளை டு த ரேங்கின் சைக்கிள் கேன் பி எவாலுடேட்டட் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபைனிங் த அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ஸ்டீம் ஜென்ரேட்டட் இன் த ஹீட் ரிகவரி ஸ்டீம் ஜென்ரேட்டட் டபுள் டபுள் டி மீன்ஸ் ஸ்டீம் டர்பைன் அவுட்புட் தட் இஸ் எம் ஒன் இன்டூ ஹெச் ஒன் மைனஸ் ஹெச் டூ தட் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ மெகா வாட்ஸ் த பம்ப் இன்புட் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட்ஸ் த நெட் இஸ் டபுள் டி மைனஸ் டபுள் பி தட் இஸ் அரௌண்ட் ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் டூ செவன் நைன் மெகா வாட்ஸ் த அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ஹீட் சப்ளை டு த பாய்லர் தட் இஸ் ஹீட் ரிகவரி ஸ்டீம் ஜென்ரேட் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டீன் பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் The first law efficiency can be calculated from the output by input. The output is net output from the steam turbine, whereas the heat input is a, a HRSG input. Therefore, output by input, it is coming as 25.67%. This is the first law efficiency of the simple Rankine cycle. Uh, coming to the estimation of uh, second law efficiency of the steam Rankine cycle, first of all, we need to determine the irreversibilities associated in each and every component of the uh, cycle rankin cycle that is the first one is uh, turbine condenser pump and the heat recovery steam generator in addition to these four components uh, there are uh, two uh, fluid losses one is the hot water coming from the condenser and hot gas coming from the heat recovery steam generator coming to the irreversibilities associated in the heat recovery steam generator that is heat recovery Uh, from this uh, gas total law equation that is t not into uh, entropy generation in the hot gas plus uh, entropy generation in the steam as mg cbg log tg2 by tg1 in kelvin plus m1 s1 minus s4 is final entropy minus initial entropy we have to take for both uh, hot fluid as well as the cold fluid after substituting these values that is temperatures and entropies in, sub- in the formula uh 1722 that is approximately 1.7 megawatts of uh, exergy is decayed in the heat recovery steam generator uh, next component is the steam turbine the irreversibility is formula associated in this steam turbine is t not into m1 into s2 minus s1 that is the final entropy minus initial entropy after substituting this uh, mass flow rate entropies and uh, Uh, reference temperature uh, it is 710 kilowatts uh, irreversibility loss in the steam turbine uh, to find the irreversibility loss associated in the condenser first of all we need to determine how much amount of circulating water is required in the condenser from the heat balance that is in the condenser uh, ms into h2 minus h3 is equal to mw into cpw tw2 minus tw1 here water inlet temperature is considered as 25 degrees centigrade the temperature rise in the condenser for the circulating water is 8 degrees centigrade that's why uh, this ms h2 minus h3 divided by the cpw is 4.17 the delta t that is the temperature rise in the cooling water is 8 degrees centigrade after simplification it is coming as 371.34 kc per second this much amount of circulating cooling water is required in the condenser to condense the steam into the saturated liquid conditions uh, therefore uh, irreversibility in the condenser is t not into entropy rise in the hot water and uh, entropy drop into the for the steam that is delta s for the hot water and delta s for the steam uh, after simplification this is 645.76 kilowatts of loss is observed in the condenser that is irreversibility loss and pump similarly for the pump also we can calculate the irreversibility loss associated in the pump is 22.9 kilowatts uh, after finishing these four components there are two fluids exhaust one is exhaust and the hot water from coming from the condenser the exergy associated in the exhaust gas at 200 degree centigrade itself is a irreversibility after finding directly the exergy associated in the exhaust gas that is mg cpg tg2 minus t0 minus t0 into mg cpg log tg2 by t0 it's coming as uh, 4.1 megawatt similarly the hot hot water coming from the condenser also associated some exergy the exergy loss is called as irreversibility of hot water mw cpw tw2 minus t0 minus t0 into mw cpw log tw2 by t0 that is equal to 163.28 kilowatts